Hey guys, this is Matt from Jack is my co-pilot. Not surprisingly, the Bixler 2 came with a terrible manual, so I'm going to show you how I put it together. Inside the box came a carbon fiber spar for the wings. Both of the wings had the aileron servos already installed. Here's a vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer, and the fuselage with the servos and the motor already installed. Then a bag of parts and glue, a screwdriver. So here's the electronics I'm going to use. There's an E-Flight 30 amp ESC. Here's two SV80 servos for the flaps. This here is an AR500 receiver, but I'm going to swap it out for another one later on in the video. And a Y for the flap servos. And as always, Jack. Right from the beginning, I like to hook up all the electronics so I could bind the receiver and also center the servos. This piece of foam right here pops out so you can put in the servo for the flaps. There's also this really nice strip of foam that covers up the servo wires. I'm going to hot glue in my servo. Then I use the glue that came in the bag to glue down that strip to cover the servo wires. pretty much a type of rubber cement so you got to set it off to the side to let it get tacky before you put the strip on. Then I glued on the vertical stabilizer. In the book it had you put on the horizontal stabilizer and then the vertical stabilizer but this way is much easier. Next I glued on the horizontal stabilizer. Once the glue on the wing got tacky, I put down the strip to cover the servo wires. Next I cut out the piece of foam that secures the flaps to the wing. Next I put on the servo horns. Make sure the holes are on the inside pointed towards the hinge. I put on the control arm. The clevises for this kit are really kind of bad. They snap together instead of having a rubber retaining ring. I'll probably change them out later. And I'm trying to slide the carbon fiber spar into the wing. As you're feeding this in, you have to put these servo wires down through the hole. These are so far back there that I had to use this little snake grabber to get the servo wires in. It's pretty much the only way I could think of doing it. I did the same thing with the other wing.
Once you slide the wings together, there's two screws on the bottom to secure it. The instruction manual did come with a pretty important appendix. There is one major flaw in this airplane. The flap servos are facing in opposite directions. This is how you want it for ailerons because the ailerons move in opposite directions. But since the flaps pull in one direction, the servos need to be pointing in the same direction. Now you can pull out the servo and cut a new hole mount it in the opposite direction. Or they also sell a Y harness that will swap it for you. But the way I chose to do it was replace my 5 channel receiver with a 6. Instead of using a Y, I hooked up one servo to the gear and one servo to the auxiliary and then I'm going to mix it inside the radio. Now in order for this mix to work for you, you're going to want the right side flap to be going down. If it's not, then just swap the gear and the auxiliary wires. Then you're going to navigate in your menu down to mix one. Then you're going to change this from inhibited to activated. I'm assuming that's what those mean. Make sure this first setting is on gear. You want the second one on flaps. Then you want this to say activated. When you go down to rates, you want down or D to be at plus 125. And the U or up to be at negative 125. Next make sure the switch or SW is on gear. Then go ahead and leave the trim on inhibit. And go back to your list and scroll down to setup list. Go to reverse and make sure your flaps are set to reverse. Then you want to go ahead and pull off your other servo horn. Center up the flap and go ahead and attach it back on. Now it should be working perfectly. Now I'm adjusting all my control surfaces to low low mount. As you can see I also cleaned up the electronics inside the hatch. Can't forget Jack. I'm tightening on the prop. On this one, you want the teeth to be pointed to the back of the airplane. And test it out. For the first flight, I had all the control surfaces set to the least amount of throw. I also didn't have any exponential rates programmed in. For my second flight, I maxed out the throw and added 30% expo. It flew much better that way. Keep an eye out for my next video where I'll set up and test the FPV system. Have my first FPV flight. See you next time.